It's year end. Have you been thinking about giving back? There is a real art to it. And I'm going to talk today in this episode about philanthropy and how to be doing that as a high achieving woman. Hello, Dynamic Women, and welcome to the Dynamic Women podcast. I am Diane Rolston, your host, and we're going to talk today about the art of giving back philanthropy for high achieving women. You know, giving back is part of our nature. Giving, I could say more so, is part of our nature. And so as this year draws to a close, or if you are taking this information in at another time of year, you can still be listening and planning as to how you want to be giving back. I'm going to talk about the importance of giving back, which probably you know, but I've got some other ideas as well who you should pick, what you should give, how to give, and how you can build in giving, donations, sponsorships, these sort of things into your life and your business. So let's get started. So it's year end. And it's always at the end of the year that I I decide, okay, who have I not given enough to? Who do I, the new people that I, or organizations, charities that I want to give to? And so now is the perfect time to do that. There is a big push for all these charities, organizations, special services that are looking for fundraising dollars now so they can support their budgets throughout the year. So they can do more of their services, offer more products, help more people. So why do we give back? It's important to give back because there are many organizations, like I said, services and charities and such who will only survive if they have donors, if they have people who are supporting them in one way or another. And giving back means that those services that are near and dear to your heart, the ones that are in alignment with your personal values, your mission, whatever it may be, your business, that they can continue to do good work. Right. If you you put your dollars into Amazon, you're growing Amazon. If you put your dollars into a women's local shelter, then you're helping the people around you. When we are blessed with finances, with security, with jobs, with business, then it is our duty to give back. And I'm not going to say how much you give back you know, how much tithing you need to do. Uh, But it is important that if we have, then we give. And you may not have money to give and that's okay, but you maybe have time. It's what you can give, right? All the different things you can give. You can give your time. You can give your energy. You can give your expertise. You can give products. You can give money. You can be the one who collects from others. So a few things that we've done in the past is for our gala that we did one year for the Dynamic Women community, I invited the women to bring pajamas, underwear, socks, bras, these sort of items in order to have these items available for the women in shelters. And specifically, that one was for Joy's Place. I have done others where it was feminine products um, for women in shelters, toothbrushes, body wash, these sort of things. I've collected items like one use or small use items like uh, shampoo, conditioner, razor, uh, mittens and things for women in the downtown east side. And that's in Vancouver. And so collecting these items could be the thing that you do. I've also collected probably two suitcases or two garbage bags full of bras, mainly used bras that were being sent over to Africa for the women there, because I heard that women who don't wear a bra are more targeted for sexual abuse, rape, kidnapping, these sort of things. And that just, that appalled me. And I thought if I can do one little thing, and so I can remember dropping them off at the the person who was going to bring these over. Um, I had my, my daughter in her stroller and two big garbage bags of bras. And so there's many different ways and things that you can give. Uh, recently with my church, we helped to do a big Christmas dinner. I think it was 400 people. And so my job for maybe two, three hours was just serving uh, drinks and serving special baked goods to the people as they came in, as they were waiting for their dinner. And then my job was to clean up, to take down all the Christmas lights, the decorations, 
And then my job was to help to reset the location. So bring all the tables back and, and uh, clean up all the garbage and stuff. So that was just a, a one-off thing, but it's important to give back, right? We get it. But a lot of times this gets forgotten or we kind of, we go to the Walmart uh, till and we get asked, do you want to give $2 to children's hospital? Or we go somewhere else and do you want to, do you want to give a dollar to this or $5 to that? And um, that's not how I, that's not how I give. Now that's, it's great. A lot of times the companies though, they've already given and they're looking to recoup the donation. What I think is a better way is to, to choose. So let's talk about who to pick. So it's great that at the beginning of the year, you choose who to give to. And I get that we're at the end of the year now. And so it's like, get it in under the deadline, but choosing who to pick. So for me, it's always important that I give to cancer society because my father passed away with, from cancer. And so that one is near and dear to my heart. I also believe in giving to women's shelters. Um, because I, I see that we're only like one decision that we've made or someone else has made for us that would put us in the need of using a women's shelter. And so because I feel blessed that I haven't had to use it, I want to make sure that they have the resources. And so sometimes it's money that I'm giving. Well, I give money every year, but um, that they have the things they need. Sometimes I donate my my book, the Dynamic You book, uh, I just, I feel like that is, that is one that's really important to me. Now, one that my parents always gave to was the war amps and that's the key tags, right? The key tags that if you lose your keys and it says on there, just put it in a mailbox and there's an agreement with the postal service that they will hand, they will find the owner again of the keys and give them to the, the house, right? So I always pay for that one. I always donate because I see that as also a service. And then they're, um, you know, giving to the children's hospital because my my daughter had hernia and had surgery there and they were so good. And so that helps me. Uh, and my son broke his femur and he was in there. And so it's just really important for me to be giving back. Also giving to the SPCA, we that's where we usually get our animals from. Um, this year we we got two cats from the Langley Animal animal protection services. So that's another place when we went there, we donated food to them. Um, so there's the who to pick is going to have to be connected to you. Do you want to give locally? So I give to a women's shelter here locally. I also give to a women's shelter in my hometown. So is it locally? Is it provincially or statewide? Is it nationally? Which, which level are you wanting to give to? Is it something that's near and dear to your heart based on maybe some, some family member that was affected by a disease? Is it a service that you've used or a friend has used? So just be thinking about who you're going to pick. Uh, I know that my parents gave a lot to a lot of different organizations and they would allot a certain amount. And it is okay that if someone asks you for a donation that you say, um, you know, I, I'll think about it for next year, but we've already allotted our donations for this year. You're totally out to do that. You don't have to donate to everyone and every organization, but when you plan it, you're going to be able to see where you want to give and you're going to be able to know how much you want to give. And I know for tax purposes, it's always good to give over 20 so that you get a tax receipt and maybe you need to write off a certain amount of money um, in order to reduce your tax bracket. I'm not going to go into that. That is not the purpose for a uh, philanthropy at this point in what I'm talking about, but it is a bonus, a benefit for your personal taxes or your business taxes. So that's just something to be thinking about because um, it will make more sense. Also, if you have a service that you provide, maybe an organization would give you a tax receipt as a, like an honorarium almost. Um, that you did a gift in kind of your services or a gift in kind of maybe your car to a specific organization or other items for an auction. Um, so just be thinking about that as well, that there are so many different ways to give. It doesn't just have to be money. 
So how do you want to give? Well, we're right at the end of the year. So I encourage you just to go give, give presents where they're needed uh, to different children's charities or families in need. We did a hamper this year, a couple of hampers. My soccer team did a hamper. My church group did a hamper. And at the end of the year, it's different, but going into the next year, be thinking about how do you want to give? Do you want to give a monthly donation? So I used to do direct deposit for my church that every month it would just automatically come out. But then I decided instead I would invest that money and then do a lump sum at the end of the year. So knowing that if you're going to give money, giving cash is always better because Using your credit card dings them in fees, so you're actually giving them less. And yes, you get points, but at the cost of them having the expense. And so not just for giving and donations, um, by cash, by e-transfer is amazing. Then you have a bit of a paper trail in case anything goes wrong. So be thinking about that as an option or handing cash or writing a check and sending it in. At this point of the year, you're going to have to just drop it off. Um, and I've done that as well. So be thinking about that. We want to keep more money in the pocket of the charity or the organization that we're donating to. And this is also a side note for small business owners. When you buy something from a small business owner, use cash as much as you can or debit so that they don't incur the credit card fees. Next, I want to talk about build and giving into your life. So if you build in giving, then it's part of your monthly budget. It's part of your goal setting. It's part of your calendar. So I'm going to give back by donating my time to this organization at this place. And it will already be scheduled in there. So that's how you build in giving into your life. How much of your time, how much of your budget or how much of your money uh, how much of your expertise are you wanting to give back? And it doesn't always have to be to charities. It could be you mentoring someone or joining a board, a non-paid board, a volunteer board, and giving of your time and energy and connections. It could be you donating um, a certain percentage of your, your um, salary or what you bring in. And it could be something you discuss with your family about where are we going to give and how are we going to do that as a family, not just as an individual. And last but not least, it's thinking about how do we build in giving into our business? And so maybe for a certain product or service, you give 100% of the profits to a charity. Maybe for every product or service, certain ones, or maybe all of them, you give 10%. Or, and maybe that's 10% of the profits, or maybe that's 10% of the revenue. We don't know. You get to decide. Maybe you gift so many seats into a program, or so many tickets for a speaking engagement, or so many books to an organization when they book you. And I, for my book launch of Dynamic U, we did something called the More Than One Campaign. And I do this when I go to big conferences. I encourage the women to buy more than one book. But that second book is left behind with me and I donate it to a women's shelter. So they buy one book for themselves and they buy a book for a woman who maybe couldn't afford it or is now just receiving a lovely gift as she leaves the shelter on her journey for in the next chapter of her life. So by building and giving into your business, you can plan the giving. You can do it in a way that makes sense for your business, both from a structural way, also from a way of announcing it. So it's not around a marketing ploy, but we know certain companies that when you buy one of something, you know that one is going to be donated. And that can be the deciding factor for a lot of people really believing in your philanthropic ways of your business and wanting to support that. And so if you, you don't necessarily have to have your own foundation or your own nonprofit or your own special services, but can you align yourself 
with a specific organization? Can you give stage time? Can you send emails about? Can you make postings of? Can you put them on your podcast so that you help to spread the word about this organization or charity or nonprofit or whatever it may be? Now, there are so many other ways you can be philanthropic in your business and in your life. I just kind of kept it to the the actual exchange of you giving your time, energy, product, money um, in a in a kind of a potentially a one-off way or a way where it fits into your business. There are so many bigger, grander things you could do, like saying, my goal in the next five years is to build a school in Africa, or my goal every single year is to pay for a hundred children to have lunches provided to them. Um, or my goal is to sponsor uh, one child for every 50,000 I make uh, and ongoing. And so maybe you end up having like a whole almost baseball team of children that you're sponsoring in another country. Whatever it is for you, there is an art to giving back. And the key thing is just having intention around it and then implementing it. It doesn't have to be hard. It just is so important, especially as women, our, our donation dollars count. Our voice at the table, volunteering matters. Our ability to share our skills and to show the younger generation the impact that we can make, not just for profit, but for good, is really important. So I'm curious, if you are already donating, who do you give to? Why is that important to you? And if you're thinking about where to bring this in in the next year, how to be more philanthropic in your life or your business, please share that. I would love for you or your journey and what you're going to implement to inspire others. If you haven't yet, I encourage you to share this with a friend, especially someone who you feel has, you know, come to that place of really wanting to give back. And if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe and make sure that you write us a review. I would love to hear what you have to say. Uh, if you're not sure how to write a review, you can always reach out to team at dianerolston.com. And when you do it, make sure you take a screenshot and send that with your mailing address to that same email, team at dianerolston.com. And our team, We'll be able to um, help you out and I'm going to send you a little something special in the mail. So until next time, be philanthropic and stay dynamic. Bye.